specific workstation for the Indian office. Um, but it'd be one that could change from moment to moment, from day to day. This is the new system, Reason, uh, that I've developed with, with Goodridge. We just sort of came up with one phrase and it was, uh, there's a reason behind everything this product does. And then we looked at the paper and we thought, well actually, we've already got a very good name here already. The name is Reason. Definitely designed in response to what the people are looking for, what they're asking for. There's a huge level of uh, adaptability. You can build it up. It's almost like, um, a product which uh, applies itself to the specification required. You can add to it, uh, you can adjust it. At the same time, it's possible to customise various elements of it. When we did the research, what we found out was that um, a lot of the Indian specifiers, um, a lot of the architects and the end users really, really wanted to see a product coming from India. The unique thing about that is that it is so flexible and that came from you know, the, the needs of the different people. Whenever you talk to somebody in India, nobody wants exactly the same thing at every one time. Reason adapts itself to the Indian workplace because uh, it's very, very flexible in, in, in all its elements. It's flexible in uh, planning, it's flexible in specification, it's flexible in uh, its, its aesthetic look. I guess it would make a very nice kid's bed and it would make um, a great uh, games workstation. This one, wouldn't it? You imagine it with uh, playing battleships or something on this. Ergonomic design is, is to start with the human body first and how it moves, how it behaves and of course its, its measurements. I particularly enjoy designing furniture because the scale of the furnitures or to the scale of the human body and the relationship we build with those objects is it's we can almost treat them as persons because they are our own scales. The chair I'm sitting on is the ace chair, a chair I've designed for interior. Um, it's an ergonomic chair for, for to work on. I've had no complaints so far so it means that the work's been done pretty well. India won't have to adapt. The trend will adapt to India. It's just a matter of having the technology and technologies become available and affordable. So uh, there's no adapt adaption to be made. It's, it'll be natural. Three things I like about India. Um, the smells, the colors, and the sounds. My most challenging assignment, I would have to say, is uh, design of a hotel, um, which is the JW Marriott Bangalore. And I designed the courtyard, also Marriott, in Pune, which is one in Pune in the city centre. I designed that as well. That was done a couple of years ago. That was finished. I think design is shifting towards less about symbolism, and design is really shifting towards performance. I said that's the difference between good design and bad design. Bad design, you can sit on something that has like padding up the wazoo, but it's not going to be comfortable, you know. And you can sit in something that's designed very well. It can have, it can be made of steel, but you could just like melt into it. You know? My advice to design students would be pay attention. That's one thing. And the other thing is to be patient, because I think everyone is impatient in the way they feel they can design right off the bat. But I think the most important thing that anybody can do in education is kind of listen. Listen so that one could actually think about what they're learning a little bit and then transform that into their own thing.